Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help financial professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CF exam. I'm back with one of my students interview. And this time the student who's going to join us, she has already been part of the series for level one. And this time she has been able to clear level two in her first attempt. And she's going to be talking about her journey of preparing for the FRM level two. So with this, let us start with the discussion. Uh, Simran, first of all, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us. And if you can give us a brief about yourself when you start, first of all, when you completed your level one and what was your status when you started your preparing for level two? Okay. Yes, sir. Hi, everyone. I am Simran Patel. I recently graduated college in June 2023. And while mm -hmm. that, uh, while during my college, I was also pursuing FRM and I cleared my FRM level one last year in May 2022. And I cleared right now the level uh, two in May uh, 2023. So, yeah, uh, with my college graduation, I completed both the levels in my first Perfect. Attempt. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And now, so you completed level one in 2022. Now, did you start your preparation for level two immediately or was there a gap in between? Sir, I actually took a break and I started my preparations after August, I guess, after the results were announced because I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, pass uh, clear the exam or not. 50 50 i was not uh, exactly clear if i would clear so i waited till mm -hmm. my results were declared and after that i started preparing around the end of august end of august okay. and you are a part of our live online batch also correct yes so i took the uh, package the online batch. okay and what was the flow in the sense when you started from uh, say first of september onwards what was the order of preparation which book you started with so I firstly, I started with operational risk. And once I had finished with operational risk, we uh, uh, got to know about uh, the major changes that were ha happening in operational yeah. risk. So I, uh, I was really devastated that I had completed the entire book. And now I will have to mm -hmm. go back and do everything once again. Right. I wasn't clear about it. But later on, at, uh, by the end of May and everything, uh, by the end of April, I was able to uh, clear uh, the entire curriculum and also solve the mock paper. So it wasn't really a great of a deal. Okay. okay. And what was the normal uh, number of hours that you were putting in uh, from the start in the 1st of September onwards till say uh, uh, January 1st and then what was the number of hours that you were putting in? Uh, so I had uh, enough time uh, for the preparations. So I devoted around two to three hours per day to the mm -hmm. curriculum and I also started wa watching the video lectures first and at then by the end of April and by the end uh, uh, very close to the exam I started uh, preparing for the mock papers and everything but first I focused more, mainly on uh, completing the entire curriculum in one way and then going to uh, solving the question papers and everything. Okay so when did you complete your first reading full, full reading? It was around end of uh, January, I guess, end of January or mid of February, around that. So you had, of, you had seen the entire videos by end of January? Yes, sir. Around January or February, end of that, I cannot recall accurately, but around that time, okay. I had completed. And you started solving the question bank uh, while you were watching the video or after the videos were completed? After what the was the video was completed because there were uh, some topics that weren't cover be uh, covered because there were changes in the 2023 book. So uh, while uh, also doing that, I started solving the mock papers. Like only a few were left, a few chapters were left from certain books. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, so you suppose if, if I'm not wrong, so you completed everything, every reading by Feb end or Feb mid, and then you started the entire solving. The, so that was the first revision that was happening. For you. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. And from say first March till end of April, you were able to complete everything in terms of solving. Yes, sir. Mock papers. There were four mock paper. Uh, you had. No, no I'm talking about. I'm talking about chapter wise questions. Sectional quizzes, right, right. Yeah, uh, that was. I was doing once I had completed a book. I was focusing on solving the questions also, and the sectional wise, mm -hmm. I started doing it after I had completed one reading. Okay. The okay, section okay, I started doing after I completed all the books and I started revising. 
I uh, picked, uh, I picked up one book and I started revising it, and simultaneously I was also solving the sectional quizzes. Okay, and what, from your experience, what has been the difference between level one content and level two content? Level two content is five hour, uh, it is more theoretical, it is less quantitative, and it is reflected in also in the exam as well because the ratio is 80 20 like theory uh, theoretical questions are more and also in the exam i saw one thing that the wordings like uh, the way it, the questions were presented were way more easier to interpret and understand in level two rather than level one it was the the content of the question was so tricky and challenging uh, to there only half the battle was won if you could interpret what was given in the question might be because it was new to you yeah, when you started be. that could be one reason but now if i ask you what was the major challenge that you faced while preparing for the exam for level two what was one major challenge that you faced one of the biggest challenges was there were so many chapters around 97 to 100 chapters completing all of them and while that time also you know retaining that content in your head was a really big challenge for me personally and it would be something okay. the same for everyone as well i guess it would be the same and uh, another challenge was i also had my exams final year exams third year exams okay. and it started around april 8th and it ended on may 8th so the peak time when i wanted to give to my FRM studies, when I the peak time I uh, was thinking to you know devote much of my time to this, I wasn't able to because I also had to uh, study for my finals in college. So these two were the okay. major challenges for me. And out of all the six books, which book you before the exam you were very confident on which book we were not confident. Of operational risk, I wasn't confident in the start as well, and by the end, I was okay. It is a little bit theoretical, and I can once I've grasped the concepts, I will be able to, you know, do justice to it. But uh, still, I could not uh, do it, and I also got a three uh, on operational risk. So I wasn't really confident on that book. But for credit risk and market risk, uh, the content was less, and it was also not very theoretical. So. I was confident enough on both those books. Okay, okay. And how many mock papers did you solve before the exam? Four, sir. Uh, two were uh, the institute mock papers, and the others were uh, the sample papers provided by God. Okay, okay. And what was the average score that you were getting in these mock papers? Around sixty or something. Around around that. Point. So out of eighty, you were getting sixty. No, sir, not. Uh, I, I, I was uh, going to say 60 percent, I'll say. 60 percent. Okay. OK, OK, 60 percent correct you were getting. And you also analyze your wrong uh, answers, what went wrong, which concepts it was from. That, yeah, that so you were doing I, it properly. Yeah, I went through all of that content. After I solved the papers, I went through the content where I was wrong. And I tried to understand what uh, I could not understand I, what I did wrong. OK, OK, got it. And uh, when you went to the exam, on the day of the exam, what happened in that first one hour of the exam? I encountered a very big, uh, uh, actually, the yeah. uh, there was a fuse a power outage at my institute. And uh, yes. from the very start, I had uh, I started giving the paper, the inverter was on. So half of my uh, you know challenge was that you know in the uh, heat you had to sit and give the paper so and she kept telling me that uh, you know power outage uh, the inverter could uh, the battery could die and you will uh, the computers would shut down so that also happened with me so half of the time that uh, the thing was constantly there that was happening with me but uh, i was able to com comfortably uh, give my paper and uh, that was a big challenge with me. I was able to complete all the 80 questions in four hours. So, yeah. And how I, many theory uh, and how many? Yeah, please go ahead. Please 80, go ahead. 80 is to 20 ratio. 80 was uh, theory and 20 was. I personally felt that uh, the level two was a bit easier than level one. For me personally, I felt that. Way. Okay. And the calculation questions were very tough for you? Calculation, yes, sir. Uh, they were tough. Some were tough. Like uh, that was also 50, uh, 50, 50. Like uh, half were tough and the other were pure plug, uh, plug and play. So I could okay. And what about the theory question? Theory questions were very big. 
and lendi oh, uh theory questions the uh, question content was uh, rather small it wasn't that big big paragraphs were not there simple lesser wordings uh, there were and you had options quite clear options out of the four and in level 1 you had uh, uh, choose out of these three which ones are correct and those types of questions were more there in level 1 instead of level 2 okay okay and overall when you came out of the exam was there any number in your mind that okay out of 80 i'll get 50 correct 40 correct what was that number or were you confident when you came out i was a little bit confident that i would be able to clear the exam that was in my head but uh, so yeah that was there but also this incident happened so i was really in a bit of a shock to uh, you know grasp with that word uh, what was correct and if i did everything right or not but i okay. was a uh, little bit confident that i would clear and uh, for the benefit of the audience if you could tell what is your location uh, where you where are you right now and where you gave the exam so i am based out of jabalpur madhya pradesh and i gave my exam in nagpur maharashtra okay there was only okay. one the reason i there okay the reason i asked you this question because lot of people feel that uh, first of all being in college it is not possible to clear fr that is one logic okay and if somebody who is uh, from tier 2 city and been able to clear the exam in first attempt both the level then definitely it is possible for everybody else to clear but now i i, I want you to ask three tips from your side that if you are uh, if anybody is preparing for frm level 2 what should they do firstly start as early as possible if you are a working professional and also if you are a student it's challenging for both the parties so the earlier you start the more time you will be able to get comfortable with the content like if you even i also devoted only 3 to 2 to 3 hours a day so it is quite manageable if you start early as early as possible start with as soon as your results are out for level 1 and for the people who giving the exam in november it is a bit challenging and you will have to devote more time than i did because i i took a one year gap and then i did my uh, level 2 uh, in may because i saw recommended that i was also preparing for my college exam so i should give it the next year so i did right. that but for november people it is a bit difficult and you all should start as early as possible uh, start the, if you're confident enough that you will clear level 1 then you should start the very next day i think because the curriculum is very vast for uh, level 2 and uh, do uh, practice everything go through the entire book read uh, once you have to read the entire book otherwise you will just read out the summary and you think that three months may i can prepare and i can give the exam then it it is i think for me it would have not been possible because for me it is quite new on the topics were quite new and i i wasn't right. from the finance background or anything so for college students also i would recommend that you know go through the reading once and then start preparing revising is very important once you've completed an entire book solved questions revise read if you have time go through to uh, go through twice uh, go through the book twice if you have the time like that okay that would be my major perfect and now what are the quartiles that you've got 1 1 2 3 so 3 3 so i had in market and credit 1 1 and the other books i had 2 and 3 okay perfect now what has been the reaction of people people who have seen you to start who st- seen while starting the journey that you have been able to clear everything in the two years time frame what has been the reaction of people from them they were very happy sir and for me personally none of my peers none of my friends or anyone from my city i guess was uh, wasn't uh, isn't aware of this course like right. so, so, something so no no problem yeah so uh, i uh, nobody from my city was also giving uh, appearing for this exam i was alone in this uh, journey so my parents were also a little bit skeptical if i would be able to give this because i had no one whom i could interact with uh, for this but once yes. i uh, enrolled in sirs program and i met a lot of people a lot of peers that were my age and were also pursuing this course so it was like i started giving it and my parents are quite happy right now after me clearing both the levels in one go wonderful wonderful and so finally i mean i mean thank you very much simran for taking out time i know for level 1 also you had come down and you had shared your journey talked about the experience and 
also talked about the uh, important critical point which students could learn so now here also uh, for our level 2 uh, if they you taking out time is definitely really helpful and it is going to motivate a lot of other students to also go and give a level 2 as soon as possible because you have been able to clear both the levels in the first attempt so thank you very much for taking out time and talking to talking to us about it thank you so much sir